Hi, everybody. So, I have finally got around to getting my golems made. I have a couple for gathering. And I have a few for harvesting. have to readjust their locations later. And I have my magnet on. And I have one for gathering the stuff from the other places. And you shall gather from here. And here. Maybe. I may have told them that backwards. And I forgot to put the Ordo on my harvester. All right, so I'm going to replant some crops and see if I've got this right. Okay, now I've got these guys running like a finely tuned machine. Except for this guy right here. This little cheese-hatted guy is picking stuff up from the other crates and putting it into this. but only from among the six items that I can give it. I'm not sure if another upgrade will improve its capacity. But if I want to keep going with this system, I'm probably going to need more golems to empty the other chests. And I really need to improve my storage system anyway. I mean, look at this. This is just a big mess. I have to find everything. Then I have to go hit it in midair. And I may or may not find the thing that I'm trying to put there. The drawer controller is nice. But I need something to get stuff out of the system, too. And Ender IO has a system that I have been wanting to use for a while. So, I'm going to want to start on an inventory panel. But to do that, I'm going to need a witch, and I'm also going to need an Enderman head from Ender.io. Now capturing a witch in a bottle is easy enough, but I haven't seen one of those particular types of skulls. So I'll just have to see if one of those So I'll just have to see if I can get one of those to pop up from the mob farm. Which is something else I need to expand. I didn't have too much trouble capturing an evil witch from the mob farm.
but I have not yet found an Enderman head of the right variety. For that, I think I'm going to have to go to the end. And for that, I think I shall need to make an end cake. And for that, I'm going to need eyes of ender. For eyes of ender, not only do I require ender pearls, but I also need blaze powder. Which I can get from cinder pearls or blaze rods. I can get from grinding down these blaze lamps. Or I can just stop crafting them into blaze lamps. Need six of those. And six of those. And then all I need is a couple of cakes and a golden apple. And end cake. Now, from what I have heard, simply eating one will send me to the end where I should find an unlimited supply of Endermen, as well as one fairly angry dragon. So before I do that, I'd like to make sure I'm well armed, decently armored, and I'd like to make sure that I have a way back and forth to the end dimension. So with that in mind, my current project is a charm of dislocation, or actually a few of them, for which I'll need draconium dust, which I can get from draconium ore gravel, which requires this. And basically, I need to grow some Enderman Essence. So that should keep me busy gardening for a little while. Okay, so I've spent actually quite a while gardening. I have in fact grown myself a suit of armor. Mostly. And this should protect me fairly nicely in the end. And I have also spent a while working on a new crossbow. And I've been experimenting with different ammo. My first attempt was alamite over a paper tool rod. And it got good damage, but very poor amount of ammo. And so I tried Endurium over Endurium, and I think my best one so far has actually been Alamite over Endurium. Still not quite as many shots, but the damage it does is pretty nice. And the mob farm has been very useful for upgrading this ammo. And energetic jetpack.
So just in case I come into the end with no blocks in sight, I'll still have something I can fly on. I'm also bringing along an angel block, just in case I need it, to put down a bunch of obsidian to stand on. Just in case I need to land. So as soon as I've got this thing charged up, which is taking a little while, and after I put armor on it, we'll be ready to make a visit to the end. And finally, fully charged energetic jetpack. That actually took a couple of hours to do, and it has definitely underlined my need for more power. So yeah, it's about time that I escalated beyond the old um, crucible lava power thing. So yeah, in future episodes, we'll be working on a reactor. But for right now, let's see, what kind of armor do I need for this? Electrical steel armor, okay. All right, so that's right. And let me put this away. So, I have my Endurium crossbow, Alamite bolts, and spare Endurium bolts, just in case I manage to run out. I'm going to put these paper Alamite bolts away. And I've got a thermometer so I can examine the dragon really quick. I've got one charm of dislocation bound to this spot right here. And I've got one unbound, which I will be binding as soon as I get to the other side. I have an angel block and obsidian, just in case I don't have a platform to materialize when I get there. I've got an ender sword in case I want to kill some endermen. And I think I shall leave some of my tools behind, too. Because an axe and a shovel just aren't going to be as handy there. I also have this spare... Yeah, I'll leave that here, too. All right, so... We're going to give this a try. And nom. I suspect I might not have done that right. And brand new end cake. And let's see. I think I'll put it up here over this way. And 
And, according to the wiki, after you place it, you feed it Eye of Ender. You make it a full cake. And then you eat it. Okay, this is the one that goes to the end. And these we'll put away up here. And now that I am fully fed, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. trouble if I remember my backpack, my jetpack. Okay, so where's Jane? So, no Ender Island, but we still have the, uh, That went really quick. No complaints. So, there we are, making surprisingly short work of the Ender Dragon. Next episode, we're going to work on harvesting some Enderman heads. And we're also going to be looking into better power sources. Until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.